Palmetto Outdoor Experience YouTube channel. All right, guys, we're out here with the Palmetto Outdoor Experience, and um, I got something new. Well, it's not new, it's used, but this is going to make things a whole lot different. Looky here Deep Cycle Marine Battery. This little one here. Uh, I don't think it's really designed to be constantly charged and I could never get 12 volts in it. Look at there. 12.6 volts, 12.5. This battery right here will work better in a charging and discharging situation like it'll do. Um, I did put these back into series and um, it's working a whole lot better with a larger battery i think this battery had like a dead cell in it because i was putting a really heavy load on the generators this is completely different though see it's maintaining right now at 12.5 volts that's good our output voltage for our power supply well let's scroll through it 13 volts so it's a 13 volt max that um i can put out right there for right now i just i turned it down to 13 volts so um we actually got wires ran now i went to walmart and i had some old uh drop cords it was actually cheaper to get drop cords than it was to buy a wire and um let me get my voltage meter here out of the way um so you see there it's i mean it's charging Um, so what I've done was I run drop cord all the way up through here and, uh, and it's actually plugged in here, but then I had to cut one end down here to splice it into the other one, but it was cheaper to get drop cord than it was to buy wire, but that's completely fine because it's shielded and it's protected really good. I probably should have run heavier gauge wire up there. But the light does not demand that much power at all. I mean, it's a tiny LED, but it is bright. All right, so, you can see it hasn't rained. It hasn't rained much in the last two weeks, so our water's kind of starting to slow down on the spillway. The generation tight now. It actually pulls a lot of the water off the pond, which is fine with me. I need to, I'm gonna have to put some dirt up right here once we get a drought and fix a couple of spots in my concrete right there where I poured it thin. I figure if I build me a wooden or a uh, dirt dam across there, it should give me about, mm, I'd say, maybe 10 to 12 hours and I'll open up the generator bypass where it'll, you know, it'll just be the flow out to there. But we've got the light now on the pond. I want to get in here and mount it on one of these trees. I just need a little bit longer wire though. But let's cover this photo cell up. See what we got. Okay. It takes a couple of seconds before it'll kick on. Hopefully it will. Hopefully it didn't trip nothing out or nothing come unplugged.
There we go. The uh, <laughs> that photo cell is so sensitive. Um, there was just a little bit of light coming in, and it was just enough to uh, make it not come on. But that'll look really good. And, and I can change the colors with this thing. I got a remote for it. You can see the grass is starting to come up on this thing. Man, look at there. That's some good fescue right there. I kind of wish I didn't have fish in this thing because I would plant the whole face of this dam all the way down to the bottom and let it grow up with grass but uh i thought also i found something neat so one of my smoke generators i took it apart and there's some of the winding that's in it so your magnet spins around this and that's what gives you your electricity. It, I mean, I can't really, I mean, I could explain it, but it just, it'd take forever to explain it. So right here, there's magnets inside of this, right? And um, what this does is this spins, the magnet spins around this, uh, I believe it's called a rotor. I might be saying it wrong, but that's that's how you generate electricity. The wire, there was three wires on it, so it is a three-phase motor. Then it's rectified to uh, 12 volt. Ah, it, it wants to hold it. But, yeah. I've just been uh, piddling today on this project. Oh, about fell. There's a lot of fish in here now. Now that it's warmed up, you can really see them. Hopefully the brim will start spawning soon. I'm not sure when the, when the spawn, when the, you know, the spawn will actually happen in a pond this small. If you can see, I'm gonna zoom in. There's some, there's some fish right there. Look at there, fishies. Oh yeah, they're eating, so that's good. I gotta get them some more minnows. I'm gonna fatten them up. I put probably, God, I bet you I put a hundred dozen minnows in this thing and a lot of them spawned out, the minnows did because there's a bunch of fry all along these edges and you can see them dart and stuff like that. But now that the weather warms up, I know that they'll really start feeding before they spawn. So hopefully, hopefully in a day or two, I can get them some more minnows. I've just been lazy and most of the most of all the gas stations are sold out because people are crappy fishing right now. There's a there's a big bass right there. Or a decent sized bass. He ain't big. Let's see if I can ease up on them. They're skittish. They know who caught them. <laughs> there's a bunch more brim in there. I don't know if you can see them. A lot of fish hang out right up here at the top. Oh, there's a big brim. He's slab. He fillet him. There's another. Oh, there's some big fish in there. Look at there. Oh, let me see if I can zoom in on that one. Look at there. Look at that beauty. There's another one. Man. There's a lot more fish in here than, <laughs> than I thought there were. I mean, I know that there's a lot of fish in here. So there's a there's a bass right there, I think it is. It might be a crappie. The back dorsal fin looks like a crappie. There's a big bass. There he is. So the, the warmer the weather gets, the fish get a lot more active. They start feeding because they're ready to spawn. Or they get ready to spawn. And I believe I've got them enough room to to do what they need to do. The only thing, I really want to get some catfish in here. I've only got two right now. And I'd rather have flatheads. I've just got to catch them. And that's, 
I haven't been able to. I've gone to a few places, and for some reason, I haven't been able to catch any flatheads. There's some more fish. I don't know if I can zoom in on them. You can see all the, the little fry darting right there. I mean, there's hundreds of baby fish, and I'm guessing that they're minnows. Like the minnows that, that I released in here, they just, they've spawned out. That's the only thing I could think of, because I don't see any fish beds. But you can see it's, it's shallow. There's a good shallow shelf all through here. And that should give the bass and the brim a good place to spawn. And I don't plan on pulling the water down anymore. You know, not until winter time. Or I do have a leak behind the dam. And if that leak gets any worse, what it'll do is it'll just drain down to where that leak actually is. And I'll pack it full of dirt. Or I'll put some uh, cement in it just to seal it up permanent, but I can't find the leak until it drains down to the leak. Cause you can see behind the dam, there's a good bit of water coming out, but I'm not worried about that right now because there's no way to find it. I believe it's right in here. There's a lot of roots under the ground. So yeah, see the light's still on. I need to take this bucket off. I don't want to drain my battery down. Well, I mean, it ain't gonna drain the battery down because the generators can sustain it, but there's no need in having it on. That's just a Amazon photo sale and it works. There's my light. Like I said, I'd like to, there's a fish just jumped. I'd like to mount like a light there, there and there. But in order to do that, I'd like to have another battery up, down there and uh, actually have two batteries charging and then run the power directly off of one of the batteries with heavier gauge wire up here and maybe put those on a timer where they would only come on from like, you know, nine o'clock at night till three in the morning or something. And the goal is, is the lights will attract the bugs. The bugs will land on the pond. The fish will eat the bugs. That's the plan. And it'll look good you know, lit up underwater, but, yep. Well, you're watching the Palmetto Outdoor Experience. Make sure to like and subscribe. Y'all have a good day.